Monitoring your Docker containers in your home lab or even a production environment is extremely important, allowing you to gather performance-related information, key performance indicators that allow you to easily diagnose performance issues, go about troubleshooting, and ensure that business-critical applications or self-hosted applications in your home lab are performing as you would expect. Today, we're going to look at five Docker monitoring solutions that allow you to effectively monitor your Docker container solutions and Docker workloads that you have running in your environment. The first tool in our list of Docker monitoring solutions is actually a solution that is built right into the Docker command line, and that is the Docker stats command. Maybe this is a command that you either have not heard about before or you simply have just not used it from a Docker command line. As mentioned, we can issue the Docker stats command and get quick and easy statistics and performance information regarding our Docker containers. As you can see here, what we have is a list of information that reminds us of the Linux top command. We're, we're getting streaming information about our running containers, including the container ID, the name, CPU percentage, memory usage, memory percentage, net IO, as well as block IO and the PIDs for our running containers. So really useful information at a high level that gives us quick and easy access to that container performance information. Now, if we exit back out and we go to uh, Docker stats dash dash help, we can see that we've got just a few options that we can use. We can use dash dash all to pull not just the running containers information, but it shows all of your containers. You can also do a format string option to feed this into Go templates to do some pretty interesting things as far as how we're presenting that information, making it look good. Also, if you notice when we issued the Docker stats command, our screen was blinking, the terminal was blinking, and that indicates that the Docker stats command is continuously polling the container information. If you only want it to retrieve a single snapshot, just a one and done type thing, you can just issue the no stream command and that just literally goes out. It fetches the information and boom, it presents it one time and that's it. So that may be useful if you don't want to see the screen blinking, you want to just get a snapshot of the performance information. Also, we can do a dash dash no dash trunk, keeps it from truncating the container ID. So if you wanna see this entire container ID, you can issue the no trunk command. So all in all, Docker stats is a great tool to learn and to know for quick and easy Docker performance monitoring. The next Docker monitoring solution on the list is a solution called Glances. Glances is an awesome command line tool that also provides a phenomenal web interface to get a lot more information than even what we can see with our Docker stats command. The Glances application is written in Python and it's actually deployed as a Docker container itself on your Docker host. Once you deploy that Docker container, you can easily navigate to the web port that's exposed as part of the Docker provisioning process, and you can see streaming real-time information about all of the Docker containers that you have running on your Docker host. So let's take a look and see all of the information that Glances is able to provide. To get Glances up and running, it is a simple process of pulling down the container. So I'm going to paste in the command that we need to run to set up the container and pull the image that is needed. The container begins pulling down and in just a moment we should have a running container. As we can see, we've got the Glances container up and running. So we're going to connect to this particular port. Now we have the Glances solution up and running. And as you can see, we already have a wealth of information. One thing I really like about Glances is that in a single location, you have a dashboard of all of your information 
One thing I really like about Glances is it allows you to see everything in one location. So I can see information about my Docker container host, such as the uptime of the container. If I'm troubleshooting stability information, I can take a quick glance at this information and I can see other information about my container host, CPU, uh, overall CPU usage, memory, swap file usage, network disk io and then as we can see here we've got even more information detailed information regarding the cpu memory swap and load on our container host then as we drop down we see information about the containers themselves we can see which containers we have running their status their uptime cpu memory max memory io network information, transmit and receive, and the entry point command that we are running with those various containers. We also see the task information sorted by CPU consumption. So we get an overall view of all of the tasks, kind of like a Linux top command. And this information is clickable. So if I click, I can actually sort by the column that I want to view. So I can click CPU memory, anything with uh, the underline, basically with the hyperlink there. And that's the same up here with our container information. I can click around various information in my container view. So Glances is a really awesome dashboard of information that gives you a quick and easy way to, in one place, see all of the information regarding your container host as well as those containers that you have running in the environment. The third solution on our list of Docker monitoring solutions is one that I feel needs no introduction. I've made a lot of other video content and blog posts about the solution, and that is Portainer. Portainer is one of those solutions that is a no-brainer. It allows you to quickly have time to value when you are learning and getting up to speed with Docker containers, but also with the advanced Docker administrator. It allows you to do more than just monitor your Docker containers. It allows you to interact with Docker configuration, administration, role-based access control, as well as other really nice security benefits. Portainer gives you an incredible dashboard experience to manage, configure, and monitor your Docker environment. Portainer gives you a wealth of information about your Docker containers as well as your container hosts. As we can see, the Portainer dashboard is extremely fully featured with information about your environment at every turn. We get an overview of the stacks, the images, the networks, the containers, volumes, and GPUs. If we click into containers, we immediately are presented with fully featured rich statistics and information regarding the containers that are running in the environment. We can see the state of the containers, the image they are created from, the date they were created, the IP addresses that may be assigned, the published ports, as well as ownership of the container. As you can see, when we look at each container, we have a set of quick actions. If we hover over the quick actions, we can click each of those and dive into further detail and in information. And this is great when we're looking at monitoring or uh, troubleshooting a particular issue in the environment. Uh, we can easily get a wealth of information from Portainer. So we see logs, we've got the inspect functionality, we've got Docker stats that Portainer also queries. We can exec to the console of the container as well as attach console to the container. Also, if we look in the logs, we, we see we've got rich information uh, from the log perspective. We can download the logs, we can view the logs from the Portainer dashboard directly. When we inspect a container, we have a really nice view that's collapsible by default in the Portainer dashboard. We can click and expand any of these nodes inside the inspect view. If we go back out to the containers view, we can click the stats quick action button. We are seeing the stats from Docker presented in Portainer as it queries in real time the performance data from the individual container that we are focused in on. So this is really cool. Uh, we can set the refresh rate as well, how often we want Portainer to query the information. 
if I navigate to another container that has more processes running, we can see that we also get a wealth of information around the processes running inside the container. And these are searchable as well. So we can search for particular processes running in that specific container. So this is really awesome from a monitoring perspective when we are taking a look at various things in the environment. Also, I want to make mention that Portainer allows you to add additional Docker hosts. So through the Portainer agent, we can have a single installation of the Portainer dashboard. Then the agent gets loaded on the other Docker container hosts in the environment. So from a single dashboard, you can troubleshoot, monitor, configure, and administer your Docker container hosts from that single pane of glass Portainer dashboard. The next monitoring solution that we want to mention is one that is extremely popular in the world of free and open source monitoring solutions, and that is Zabbix. Zabbix is well known as a powerful open source monitoring solution that extends far beyond just Docker environments. In fact, Zabbix can monitor Kubernetes, it can monitor Linux hosts, Windows hosts, network performance, application performance, cloud, all of those things, and many, many others. It's kind of a Swiss army knife as far as monitoring solutions are concerned. Zabbix provides a wealth of information for your Docker container host as well as your Docker containers themselves. And I have a Docker container host added to the environment. We can click the dashboards and quickly get a good general overview of our Docker environment. We've got a Docker containers graph that shows us which Docker containers are running, which are paused, stopped, and the total number of containers. We've also got a size graph so we can visually see the larger Docker containers, smaller Docker containers. We've got a memory graph, we've got go routines, and we've got images. If I go back out though, really we can start getting into the meat of the information that we want to pull in the graphs view. If I click the graphs view, I have the ability to click an individual container that I have running in the environment. So if I click one of the containers that I have running, it will filter the view down to that particular container and we get a wealth of information from Zabbix. So as you can see, I've got a CPU usage, I've got memory usage, network traffic, one of the other things I really like about this is the ability to see historic data. So not only can I filter down to just the last few minutes, I can also go back and say I want to take a look at the past 12 hours or even longer. I can look at the entire year if I want to. So you, you've got a lot of options there to really build some trends on various containers perhaps if you're troubleshooting an issue and you want to go back historically and take a look and see what is going on with certain containers at certain times of day so this is a really great tool one of the things i like about zabbix as well is it can monitor the host itself so if you suspect there's a global issue not just an issue with an individual container you can back out to looking at the container host itself and we can see things like global CPU usage utilization and Docker itself. You can take a look at the health of Docker, including the images, the memory, the size, network traffic over the various interfaces that are configured on your Docker host, total memory usage, memory utilization, looking at the processes running, disk average wait time, disk read and write rates, even further information about disk utilization, queue, swap usage, system load, which this is a fantastic graph that you can trend certain things or if you're troubleshooting uh, various issues in the environment. So Zavix is a great tool for monitoring Docker containers and your Docker container hosts. The final solution on our list of monitoring Docker container solutions is a solution known as CheckMK. I recently covered CheckMK on a video talking about the best free and open source monitoring solution and application. It provides a quick and easy way to get up to speed with Docker container monitoring, and you can easily add a Docker container host and start streaming monitoring information from that container host about your individual Docker containers that you have running on that host and how it allows us to effectively monitor Docker container solutions.
HeckMK is a great solution to monitor your Docker host as well as your Docker containers you have running in the environment. One thing I like about HeckMK is how it classifies both the Docker container host where you can easily see the metrics for your container host itself as well as another area that we can look and see individual container performance metrics. If I click on the Docker container host, you can see a wealth of information right off the bat, all of the performance metrics that you would imagine would be key to understanding the current performance of your Docker container host. TechMK provides us in a really nice condensed view, which I really like. You can just easily, you don't have to scroll and look, flip between various pages. You've got everything in one view. And they've got something called the Perfometer that takes this information and places it in an easy to read bar graph that graphically displays this information. So your eye can easily go to problem metric that you can key in on very quickly. So that's that's very nice. You can see all of those things. It does also in this view have general Docker information as you would expect. The running containers, total containers, running, paused, stopped, as well as disk usage, node info so you can get quick and easy alerting and monitoring on your Docker daemon if that goes into a stop state. If we go back to monitoring and go to our Docker containers, I've got one container added to monitoring. I can click on this individual container and then we can drill into the container metrics themselves for specific Docker containers. You can see CPU utilization, disk I.O., uh, container status, memory, and the uptime of the container. We can drill into these individually as well and get more detailed information regarding this individual metric. And if I had more history, we'd be able to see that as we scroll along. We check MK is a great solution that allows you to easily monitor your Docker environment, keeping a check and an eye on those key performance indicators, both of the Docker host as well as those individual Docker containers. So what do you guys think about my list of Docker monitoring solutions? Are there solutions on this list that you currently use? Are there solutions that you would highly recommend in place of ones that I have mentioned? After all, this is just a list that I have put together. I am by no means uh, saying that there are no other solutions out there that could even be better than some I've listed. So please let us know in the comments what you are using. Well, I'm Brandon Lee. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you've learned something. I hope it's given you guys some ideas about monitoring solutions that maybe you want to play around with in your lab environment. Well, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys stay safe out there. Keep on home labbing, and I will see you guys soon.